um, as I was telling, um, I made the website in a different way. And the different the difference is that I made I create a I created a JSON folder. So let me get back to the let me open up the folder. Um, so here we go. So I created this JSON folder. You can also see that inside Action Studio. I created this JSON folder, and this JSON folder. These are all data formats. If you if you're familiar with JavaScript, you, you would understand how these objects, um, how this data format actually works. These are basically objects, and I'm using properties. I'm creating properties, and those properties properties in terms are objects themselves with three other properties that are being used inside. So, um, uh, so I've created all these JSON folders. So. Each of these JSON folders actually corresponds to something inside the pages. So let me get back to this browser. Let me open up this index.php page. I'm not going to show you how to download this. So it's really easy to download. Go to this um, site uh, to go to this link. I'll, I'll be posting all these links in the description below. So please check them out. Uh, please download them. Otherwise, it will be hard for you to debug them um, when you just use a notepad or when you just use uh, sublime text because there's a difference between IDE and a text editor. An IDE will tell you where the mistake is occurring, although it won't be 100% accurate, but it will definitely give you some sort of warning. Like, um, I've created this folder, uh, I've created this file called functions.php. I will be discussing about this. Um, I'll show you how to create all this. You don't need to worry about that, but if I remove this stuff, if I remove this semicolon, it will t it will show me, um, when I click on this problems tab, it will tell me that there is an error. You won't see anything if you, um, the editors like this sublime text or notepad plus plus won't tell you where the of errors occurring. They're not designed to do that. But an ID or an integrated development environment like the Aptana Studio, it will at least show you some form of warning if it's not telling where the error is occurring. Like it won't always accurately tell you where is the exact error occurring. So if you look at this, it's telling me the error is in line 17. But I know that the error is occurring um, in line. Uh, it's occurring at 16. Yeah, it's occurring at 16 because I'm missing a semicolon in here. So if I provide that, it's going to pull off that error or error uh, message from the problems section. Now, um, why it's telling me that the error is in line 17 because it's actually considering this entire thing from echo to this ending curly brace an entire statement. It's actually considering this entire thing as statement. When it reaches a semicolon, it sees that this is a statement, so it correctly interprets that this is this this is going to be a straight statement, but this curly brace is not to exist, it's a curly brace doesn't need to exist or syntactically it's actually incorrect if you provide a curly brace at the end of your statement. So that's why it, it was telling me that uh, line 17, uh, the error occurred in line 17, but the actual error occurred in, uh, at line 16. So nonetheless, let me get back to where I was. So um, I created this page titles.json. Let me demonstrate what's actually uh, happening inside this entire um, website. Then I'll show you how to create this entire site. Um, I'll show you all the processes. Now I've got the um, names for the pages. I've got home, I've got services, I've got gallery, I've got contact. So if you look into this link part, this is the local host. This is my server running on port 8080, and this is the page, home page, index.php actually means the home page. 
and if I click on these services, this will open up the services.php page. Now, if I go back to my um, page titles.json, I can show you that um, in here, um, in here, yeah, it's actually this page titles.json. When you open up your project, it's going to show you all the folders in your app channel along with the files that have been contained inside them. So I created this page dot, uh, page titles dot JSON file and I've created an object. This thing actually represents an object from the um, opening curly brace to the ending curly brace. So this object contains four properties. Each of these properties each of these properties correspond to uh, each of these pages. Now, if I tr if, suppose that I want to create another page for my, um, I want to create another page for, um, yeah, it was uh, this page title actually is sorry for that. This page title is actually for this uh, title that we see on the tab. Now. I made a little mistake in here. This many links actually corresponds to the links that we see on the navigation panel. So this is entire things, this entire panel represents the navigation or the menu. So if I want to create a separate file like this port, uh, portfolio, I've got home.php, I mean index.php for my home page, I've got services.php for my services page, I've got gallery.php for my uh, galleries page, then I've got contact.php for my contacts page. So you can see that when I open up the fo uh, projects folder, you can see that, that I have got four uh, PHP pages inside my directory parent directory this is the contact the gallery the index and services so if i want to create another file called portfolio.php then i simply need to include that uh, if i i suppose that i create portfolio.php inside my directory and i want to show that on my website and the first thing that I want is that I want it to show on this navigation or this menu. So the simple thing that I need to do in here is that I need to mention the name, the portfolio name. This name is going to be shown on, uh, on this uh, navigation uh, panel. Then I need to include a semicolon. And the semicolon, after the semicolon, I need to provide the file's name along with the extension so um, because this file actually doesn't exist I need to create that file inside my parent directory so this is the parent directory and inside this parent directory I've got all those um, pages I've got the CSS styles I've got the uh, fonts and the um, JSON uh, JSON folder. So uh, inside this parent directory, this actually you can see that inside this Appton Studio, this parent directory, this parent directory in here is being shown on the Appton Studio. So let me create a portfolio.php. So right click on it and um, new from template. And I'm going to create a PHP file. So let me create one and uh, let's name this as. Um, portfolio.php let's finish this yeah so now I've got this portfolio.php and you can see that um, when you open up your uh, finder on your Mac you can see that it's been created inside your parent directory and your parent directory now contains uh, your, or your pan directory or your folder now contains the PHP uh, portfolio of PHP. So let me hit open up, open up this. Why is it not? Um, I should open up this one in Aptana. Yeah. So 
uh, close functions.php. So this basically contains the uh, simple code PHP info. This will show you the information of the PHP server and the mod modules that it supports. I'm not interested in what it's going to show, but I want 